Hey everybody, what's going on? Alright, it's Colonel Fancy here on what's going to be kind of a little bit more of a litmus test of a playthrough of sorts. Uh, my first time actually trying this out, so I'm going to see if this works well. If it turns out well, I might do even more of these. There was my Virtual Cop video, which was alright. Um, and I wanted to see if I can kind of do something better than that. This time, playing one of my favorite games ever, and that's Jackal. So I figured if I'm going to do a Let's Play of something, may as well be a game that I kind of know a little bit about. And this is one of my childhood favorites. This is this game is freaking awesome. I played it so much as a kid, and we're going to give this a shot. Yeah, here's like the characters here, which always make me think of Metal Slug characters. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this battle will make your blood boil. Good luck. Alright, so, probably one of the reasons why... <laughs> yeah, I love the grenades just flying over the trees and just running over dudes. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite Konami games ever, and surprised that they never really made another one in this style. Um, it kind of plays a little bit like Akari Warriors or something akin to that, and uh, unlike Gradius or Contra, uh, it's... It, there's it's it, it's really hard to describe why exactly I love this game so much. It's got sweet music. Uh, the controls are pretty responsive. I love the graphics. Uh, there's there's just there's just some character about this game that I can't ever stop playing it or can't get enough of. Um, I'm actually gonna challenge myself a little bit here. I'm gonna see if I can do uh, either a no death run or as few deaths as possible. I don't, maybe in post I'll come up with like a a, uh, a a a counter at the bottom. Just 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 to gauge how terrible I am at, at things like this. Uh, but I consider myself kind of good at this game. So maybe with the spotlight on, I'll I'll probably do a lot better. <laughs> Uh, so, as far as history for this game goes, I've never played the arcade version. The NES version is the only port of this game that I am aware of, which, much like Gradius and Contra, I never played the arcade versions of those until much, much, much later. Uh, so, I grew up with these games, and I, I always grew up calling them the Konami Trilogy, because the games don't really have much in common except for the classic Konami code, but this game actually doesn't have the code. Uh, and here's a secret up here, this is kind of like a Mega Crush that annihilates everything on screen. Not that I need it, because I'm pretty good at doing that myself. Uh, and uh, well, one, one of the things that's really cool is you get those these uh, shimmery guys right here, which power up your gun. Or, or, or rather, your your uh, main rocket launcher. You have two weapons here. You've got your standard machine gun, which fires at a high rate, but has a short distance and low attack power, and you can only fire it in one direction. And there's this. You you start off with the grenade, but as you rescue the guys from those huts, it powers up. After after four, when you drop them off at the helicopter here, uh, give awards you points and you can get an extra life uh... or if you've started out slow or or if like you're playing this co-op because it's it's cooperative that and uh... if you if you play it but if you play it that way and one person hasn't gotten all the guys uh... or, or at the very least all of the shiny dudes we'll just call them uh... shiny joes uh... then you get a pow- alright first boss here uh... Let's see Yeah, not too hard here. You just have to stay out of the way. Uh, these tanks take two hits, and there's four of them. Pretty easy to kill. <laughs> yeah, beat the game without dying, and you get that. You get that screen. That's always adrenaline pumping. 
So we're on to stage two. <laughs> Another really... Uh, uh, this, this is sort of one of those gamer things that you kind of take for granted. Is in this game, it's... It's, it's all about action. So you don't really have time to kind of sit and think about some of those weird quirks about gaming. Like, who are we? Where are we going? Who are we fighting against? Are we good or bad? Uh, it's, it's, it's just sort of left up to interpretation. I mean, sure, you can assume that you're a good guy because, hey, we're blowing up stuff. And you can just sort of leave it at that. But if you actually really sat and thought about it, I mean, you're getting your buddies who are prisoners of war, but who's to say that you're not the enemy? Uh, also, I don't really remember the names of any of these stages. Uh... Uh, so I just sort of gave them nicknames. First stage is just, I don't know, obligatory beginning stage of video game. Uh, second stage here I just called, uh, Medusa Headville. I, I, I don't know why there was Medusa heads all over the place. Just freaking weird. Uh... Alright, I claim to be good at this game, and here I am. Huh! There we go. Love the ping of your individual, like, pellet gun. Your individual bullet's just hitting the steel. It's pretty awesome. Uh, here's a secret down here. The shiny one here uh, gives you full firepower. So in case anyone you're playing with dies, that's a little bonus that you can give them if you feel like being charitable. Depends on the kind of co-op gamer you are. I'm actually not really much of a co-op gamer. I grew up playing games with my brothers. That's really sort of about it. After around the Dreamcast period was when I really just sort of became a solo gamer. takes care of him. Pillar! Oh man, I, I didn't mean to blow up the marble tank. Yeah, yeah, I've actually got nicknames for a lot of these enemies. Yeah, red tanks are kind of just like Tank Joes. I, 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 I've always called them Tank Joes. Those black tanks there, I call them marble tanks because they shoot out these, like, marble madnessy looking big black cannonball things. <laughs> oh. I love Soldier A up here. I'm gonna get him! Sooner or later, he's going to walk right into these pellets. These super slow moving pellets that aren't doing anything. Yeah, keep keep it up there, buddy. You're you're doing great. Oh, the DeLorean. Well that's totally not what I want. Okay, so that's that's death one, and that was me being completely careless. Yeah, that's that's always cool when I say I'm awesome at a game and then I just totally fail. <laughs> All right, so that's 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 a one on the death pool. And... Yeah, that's just going to make getting rid of these Medusa heads just a little more annoying. Oh, crap! Well, Death from Above almost got me there. That's like the only enemy name that I officially remember is... The Red Plains are just called Death from Above. And it's very jarring because they just fly out of nowhere and it's just... <laughs> just really freaking loud, just... Okay, oh god, I almost died. Another secret over here. Extra life. Uh, so, my tip to you is... Uh, get extra lives. They keep you alive. 
All right. Now, for the second for the second boss up here, what you want to do is approach the corner of the screen so that only like two Medusa hits can be shown. It takes three grenades to kill him, and you want to keep fire. Okay, I just goofed up there and I miscounted, but I'm still in good shape. So, you want to approach from one side of the screen so that all of them don't shoot missiles. The missiles are heat seeking, and when things get a little bit dicey, they can kind of make things. Yeah, I got the here screen because I freaking died. Uh, but we don't want the here screen. We want the yeah screen. Alright, stage three. Uh, this is like tank field. I actually love this stage, and man, I love this music. Some lead for you, lead for you, lead for you. Uh, no real reason to trigger that submarine there, but I just want the extra points. Not like points matter. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, I do have to say one thing. The grenade may be the, like, most slowest and kind of useless weapon, but the whistle of it is just awesome. go down too far and also being being grenades uh, until you have the like four-way explosion shot it's really great for getting over uh, high areas eh, takes care of you yeah instrument weapons of death uh, you've got your nukes, atom bombs, uh, your stealth bombers, uh, uh, your tanks. Most destructive weapon in the military force? A jeep. Just, just like the thought of two guys. Oh, well, wouldn't that actually have been a pretty cool thing? If, 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 like, Mario Kart was, it just had some sort of joint deal with Konami. And one of the unlockable vehicles in Mario Kart would be the Jackal Jeep with like the two guys on it. And one of the weapons would be this freaking hardcore ammunition. Maybe that's just me. 